What's up, YouTube? Today, <clears throat> we are looking at some 39s. Cheers, everyone, by the way. I couldn't sleep. I figured I'd get up and do things. And These guys are out, so they are next up. I actually do like this pattern. This pattern grew on me a lot. Unfortunately, I have so many of these things that right now, not just GECs, but knives in general, really nice knives. Um, trying to move the GECs, they take up too much room in their tubes is really like 90% of it. I really got lucky with this, this kind of uh, character. I know people are quick to dislike the cracks and the proud pens and the sunken pens and this and that. <clears throat> but uh, I got lucky with both of these guys. And this, and this one, as far as I'm concerned. Really nice pieces of cutlery. I also... I know it's not exactly the the thing to like, but I like that these have secondaries simply because um, I feel like if you're carrying a knife for long enough, eventually you're somewhere where you need a sharp knife, like a real sharp knife. Like one that's been saved up, like a secondary would be. And then uh, if you have a secondary, well, then you're out of luck. I'm going to go ahead while I have these out. Put some bowling alley wax on them. Still use the Ren wax. It's not that I've gotten rid of it. It's just that the bowling alley wax... Economically speaking, is uh, a lot easier on the wallet. It's also, it dries like super hard and tough. It is the parts of the uh, tropical tree, tropical plants, leaves. It's the shiny part. It's what it's made of. They like thrash those leaves and then extract the uh, extract the wax. That's what bowling alley wax is. Also, it's also known as butcher's block wax. Um, whether or not butchers really do put it on their blocks or not, I don't know. I'm not a butcher, and uh, I actually don't really think I've ever known a butcher, not personally. Not like a real one. I don't. I don't know if I would count people in the stores that are like, you know, carving up three ounces of pork. I guess I sound like some kind of snob thinking that, but it is what it is. We're gonna let that dry for a second, simply so. You're supposed to. The application, the way that this is done, see how that's nice? Nice and, and it's not just going away, it's getting buffed down and more to a more clear form. The way you apply this is you apply it once, buff it, let it dry, let it sit for 24 hours and then apply it again. So that's how I've been doing it as of recently. Uh, I wanna make sure my stuff is nice and waxed. Keep it all pristine and, and shining like, just twinkling. I like the stars in the sky. I 
So I do think this pattern is a little underrated. I think people are a little tough on it at first. Um, why? I don't know. Um, I'm not a GEC sociologist. I'm just a guy that spends too much money on knives. So thanks for sticking with me, though, to the end. And uh, that's about all she wrote for this one. Hope you folks have a great rest of your day. Bye now.